Yes. So if we increase uh, the temperature, right? If we increase the temperature, then then your uh, this thing, right? So then your uh, relaxation time will increase or decrease if we increase the temperature. If we increase the temperature, then electrons will frequently collide or will collide uh, slowly. What will happen if we increase the temperature? Yes. Did you understand my question? So this is how the resistivity depends on different uh, things. The mass of the electron that is constant. Mass of electron is constant, right? And for, uh, let's say, for conductor and alloys, this is also constant. Constant for conductors and uh, alloys. Right, and then we have this, uh, this is E is also constant. And uh, yeah, this is not the case for alloys. Yeah, only for conductors, this is constant, right? And now, uh, this is only depending on this uh, relaxation time. Relaxation time is not constant. Temperature, all these things with temperature with the increase in temperature. Right, so we see that if we increase the temperature, this thing will increase or decrease. That is what I'm asking. If we increase the, in the temperature in the conducting material, then kinetic energy of those uh, electrons, those free charges will increase, right? Yes. So if the kinetic energy is increasing, then which means that they will uh, collide more frequently, right? So collision would be faster. And uh, relaxation time, so there would be less relaxation time, right? There would be less time to relax. relax. Is it clear? Yes. So this tau will decrease. This tau will decrease, so this rho will increase. So in the conductor, in the conductor, that is how this uh, thing behaves. This is how the this is rho and this is tau. So this is in a conductor. Four conductor. Okay, so it will uh, behave like this, right? It is not a straight line. Is it clear? Yes. For alloys, it behaves uh, different. Right? For alloys, what will happen that uh, this is, so this is uh, straight line, right? This is low and sustain. This will be a straight and uh, for semiconductors, this has altogether a different uh, resistance. Right, so this is all the, so this is for the semiconductors. Okay, this will decrease. Is it clear? So this is how the resistivity behaves if we change the temperature. If we increase the temperature, so in the conductor, resistivity will increase. And for alloys, the resistivity will increase. But for the case of semiconductor, it will decrease. Is it uh, clear? Yes. Okay. So now, but for a large range of temperature, right? For a large range of temperature, there is a relation between the temperature and uh, so relation 
बिटवीन टेम्परेचर एंड रेजिस्टिविटी और रेजिस्टेंस फॉर अ पर्टिकुलर रेंज ऑफ right so we saw that this is not linear for the case of conductor but for a particular range of temperature this relation would be linear and uh, this will behave like uh, this thing so r not and 1 plus alpha t minus t similarly resistivity will behave like this Here, T naught is the initial temperature or room temperature. And T is the final temperature. We have uh, R naught, which is the initial resistance. R, which is the final resistance. And we have alpha, which is uh, temperature coefficient. Okay, so this is how the resistance or resistivity will be here if we have a large range of uh, temperature. Temperature change. So, for that particular change, uh, this thing would be linear. Right. So, we have two kinds of variation one is this one, and the other one is uh, this one. So, is this thing clear? We will do numericals to understand these things. Is this thing clear? Yes. Please note it down and then we will do numericals. So, we have uh, two numericals in the NCRT. We will just check for the yeah, whenever you want me to scroll down, please tell me. Okay, sure. Yeah, whenever you want to do a scroll down to these uh, This is doing very tones. Not touching the y axis, but something else.
Yes, we got disconnected. Oh, yes, sir. Yeah, please uh, tell me when you have a Okay, sir. Yeah, when you have a uh, no big concern. Done. Okay, so let us do a question, and this is in the NCRT example 2.2. So, This is uh, NCRT example. Right. So, what is uh, given? An electric toaster uses nitron for its seating. When negligible, a small current passes through it, its resistance at room temperature. So, room temperature is given which is 27 degrees C. And what else is given? The initial resistance is given, that is 75.3. Uh, and then uh, what is given? When the toaster is connected to a uh, 230 volt supply. So voltage is given, which is 230 volt supply. And uh, final current, uh, the current settles after a few seconds to a steady value. So final current is uh, 2.68 ampere. And then uh, what is the steady temperature? So we have to find out T, where we have a uh, temperature coefficient. This is 1.7 into 10 to the power minus 4 degree C inverse. So these are the other things which are right. And uh, we already know we already know what is uh, the form. Right. So we know that R is R naught 1 plus alpha T minus T. Right. So what is the thing that we have to uh, calculate? Alpha is given, right? T naught is given, R naught is given, and uh, this is not given. And this we have to find out. This we have to find, right? So how can we calculate this resistance first? First thing is to calculate this resistance. How can we calculate this resistance? Yes, how can we calculate this resistance? Can you hear me? Uh, can, you, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Calculate resistance. You have voltage, you have current. So how can you calculate this? Thank you. 
what is the relation that uh, connects all these things? What is the relation that relates voltage, current, and resistance? Uh, yes. R is divided by I. Yeah, so we know that uh, Ohm's law. We know, yes, you are correct. So it is I R. So we can calculate this R from V by so, And now we can find out this value. This is uh, 230 divided by 2.6. So this is our R, right? So R is 230 yeah. divided by 2.68. And then uh, this is R naught. Let us first simplify this thing. So now we have calculated R. So let us simplify this thing first. So we know that R by R naught, that would be one plus alpha T minus T. Right. We take this one the other side, so R by R naught and uh, minus one, this is alpha T minus T. So we write this thing in the left hand side. And then we take the LCM in this one, so this becomes R minus R naught divided by R naught. And then we again take this alpha the other side, so T minus T naught is R minus R naught and uh, R naught into L. So we can calculate the, the temperature. This would be T naught plus R minus R naught divided by alpha into R. So now we have every value, right? And what are those values? So T naught is uh, how much? T naught is 27. And then R is, uh, we have just calculated, that is 230 by 2.68 minus R naught is how much? 75.3 divided by alpha, which is 1.7 into 10 to the power minus 4. And R naught is 75.3. So how much is uh, this value? So we have 230 divided by 230 divided by 2.68. That is 85. Point, that is 85.831 minus 75.3 so and divided by 1.7 into 75.3 into 10 to the power nine. So this is uh, how much? So this is 27 plus 10.5208 or uh, 531. So 5 to 1 divided by this 1 1.7. 5 divided by 75.3. So this is So this is uh, how much? 27. And this is uh, 0 0.08218 divided by 10 to the power minus 4. So this minus 4 will go upstairs and it will become plus 4. So this is 27 and this is 0 0.08218 into 10 to the power 4. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is 27 plus 8 to 1.8. And then, uh, yeah, this is a little bit. 
and then plus 27. So this is 848.2. That is your final energy. This would be your answer. Is it uh, clear? Yeah, so please uh, note down this question and there is another example you can also try there. But please note down this uh, question. Okay. Yeah, whenever you want me to scroll down, please take. Yes. Yeah, when you want me to scroll down this time. Whenever you have a no take please study.
Okay, so now uh, let us go to the next topic, which is so combination of resistors. Right, and uh, yeah, after that, we will uh, talk about cells. So, combination of resistance uh, is possible. But I will just recap this thing and then we will talk about uh, the cells, right? So, you already remember, right, that uh, we have two kinds of combination. Lines of and uh, how many kinds are there? There are two kinds. One is series combination. Then we have uh, parallel combination. Right, so in series combination, yeah, we have all the resistances are connected by this. This one, then the other one, then the other one. So this kind of uh, combination is called the series combination. So this is R1. R2, R2, and uh, if we write uh, the equivalent diagram, so this would be something like uh, this one, and uh, this one. So this is R equivalent, and uh, the current will remain the same. Right, this is the voltage, and this is the time. So for series combination, Current is same and uh, the equivalent resistance would be R1 plus R2 plus R1 and so on. So, this is what we call this series combination, right? And then we have uh, a parallel combination. So how uh, do we connect uh, the resistances in parallel? So we connect all the one end of uh, resistance in one side and the other end uh, all together in one side. And then we connect it to that. This kind of combination is called uh, the parallel combination. R1, R2, R2. And uh, for parallel combination, this one would be I1, this one would be I2, this one would be I2. But voltage will remain the same. So this is V, this is uh, V, and this is uh, V. Voltage is same, but the current is different. So in that case, the equivalent uh, resistance, we can combine all these resistances in one uh, equivalent resistance and that would be R equivalent. And how do we calculate this R equivalent? So that would be 1 by R equivalent by 1 by R1 by 1 by R2 plus 1 by R2. So this is uh, the parallel combination. And this we have learned all right? So, yeah, we'll read the questions at some point later. But uh, these are the idea of series and time. So please note it down and then we'll talk about the other time. Please note it down. And when we have uh, noted these two.
Yeah, whenever you have no uh, more questions. Yeah. Okay, so now uh, yeah, we talk about uh, there are lots of questions on the basis of this combination. We will do that in uh, questionnaire session. But let us move ahead and uh, talk about the other topic, which is yeah. cell and the uh, So, what is uh, a cell? Right. And mainly, I uh, will talk about electrolytic cell. So, in chemistry classes, uh, have you started the third chapter, which is the electrochemistry? Yes. Yeah. Have you started uh, this electrochemistry chapter? Have you studied that? Yeah, you have already started. So we'll not uh, use, we'll not talk about that uh, electrolytic cell in detail. So we will just use the purpose of that. And what is we are getting from that, right? So only that, uh, that part uh, will come. So what is the basic uh, structure of a cell? So in a cell, what do you have? In a cell, you have some electrolytic solution. Right, you have this electrolytic solution. And this electrolytic solution, you put some uh, electrodes. Right, so you have this electrolytic solution. And then you put some uh, rods, which are called uh, the electrodes. And uh, which have the deficiency of electrons and which have the excess, so which has the excess of the electrons, so those are called uh, cathodes and anodes, and we connect them uh, together. So we connect them together, and uh, this will give us, right, so let's say we connect it with some resistance. So these are uh, called uh, electrodes. And this is uh, the basic structure of uh, this thing, right? We are not going into detail, but uh, we just get uh, the idea that the purpose of the cell is to, the purpose of uh, the cell is to provide or maintain Steady current in this cell. Right, so if we have a circuit, right, and uh, you want to, uh, let's say this is a switch, and you connect it with uh, some cell. So the uh, purpose or the use of this cell is to provide the, if this is connected, so the purpose of this cell is to provide uh, the steady current. This current is uh, steady, right? Which means that it is a constant uh, current. It is not fluctuating. It is not decreasing, increasing. So this thing is uh, steady. 
And that is what uh, the purpose of uh, this cell. So this is a cell, right? And uh, this cell will have the highest, uh, higher potential and the lower potential, right? So this long bar is uh, a higher potential. And this small bar is the lower potential. So this is lower potential. And uh, then we define the EMF of this cell. So EMF of uh, the cell is defined as the difference between higher potential or high potential or low potential of the cell. Right, so this EMF, this is by this E, this is uh, E higher minus B. So this is a uh, e. Okay, is it clear? Yes. And now, uh, we cannot use the full EMF of the cell. Some, uh, there is some resistance due to this electrolytic solution and that creates the internal resistance of the cell. So due to electrolytic solution, the electrolytes, there is a There is an internal resistance opposites the motion of the So the basic circuit of uh, the cell is that it has some EMF. And then uh, this is this has some internal resistance R, and this has some EMF. So this is the basic circuit of uh, cell, right? This is uh, internal resistance. And this is uh, of uh, the cell. And now there is a terminal uh, potential. So let's say that if the current is passing through this direction. So then there would be a terminal potential between this A and B point. And the terminal potential difference is given as which is uh, V A B and this is given as V minus so this is the terminal potential. This is a very important uh, quantity, moving, right? And uh, yeah, we'll talk about this thing in. Uh, so we'll talk about this thing in moving. But please note this thing. Get uh, down.
Uh, whenever you want me to scroll down, it will say uh, okay. Yeah, whenever you have uh, not it is down to see. Yes, sir. That's good. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So now, uh, yeah, there would be two cases, right? So one is that the cell is discharging. This is discharging and it is providing the it is providing the EMF to the other uh, device, right? So there are two conditions. There are uh, two conditions for cell. Right, and before I move ahead, so this EMF is electromotive force, right? This is uh, electromotive force. And this is not actually a force. So this is not a force, right? This is a potential, change in potential, difference of potential. So this is, we always keep in mind that this EMF is not a force. This is uh, the difference in the potential, okay? Yeah, so there are two conditions for cell. One is uh, the discharging uh, condition. Discharging case. So in discharging case, this cell will be providing the current, right? So you have uh, this cell and this internal resistance, and then this is providing. So this is providing, so the current is coming out of this. And then you calculate uh, the, the terminal potential. So that would be E minus I. So this is the, dis the discharge. That is what we were talking about. So, and then we have a, a charging case. So in charging case, what we have is that we are providing the current with some external device. So the current is provided to this thing. So this is discharge, this is charging case, right? Discharging means that the it is providing the current, and charging means that we are the we are providing the current to this side, uh, right? And this is internal resistance, this is EMS. So for that case. The terminal potential difference is this. So these are the two cases for the cell. Is it uh, clear? Okay, so please quickly note it down and then move um, out.
Yeah. Okay. So now let us uh, understand a very simple set. So simple circuit. So uh, so you have a cell, right? And then you connect the cell with some external resistance, right? So you have a cell, and then you connect it to a bar. So that is a, the simplest circuit that you can have. So you have a cell, right? And the cell will have the internal uh, resistance R. And then you connect this thing with some external resistance. Connect this thing with uh, some external resistance. Right. And this has uh, an EMF. And this is in discharging. So this is providing uh, the current. So this is in the discharging phase, right? Now, uh, can you tell me that what would be the uh, equivalent resistance? So this resistance and this resistance, they are connected in series or parallel. Yes. Yes, what did you say? So be confident, right? I cannot hear you properly. What did you say? So a series. Yes, absolutely correct. So why very you taking it? This is a series combination. So R equivalent is R plus N. Right. Now this is the so if I make it an equivalent diagram, so this would be this and uh, R equivalent. Right, and then I can calculate uh, the current. So the current would be simply what is the voltage divided by R equivalent. Right, so current in this device would be how much? That would be P by R plus R. Is it uh, clear? Yes, sir. So if I yeah. So if I take this R to be zero, right? If my R is uh, zero, then the current in this circuit would be maximum. That is E by so I max would be E by okay. Now uh, we have uh, this thing. So let us uh, find out what would be the voltage versus. So let us let's find out the voltage versus current graph for this circuit. Right. So do you remember in your 10th standard, if you wanted to plot a graph, then how many points uh, you needed? If I want to plot a straight line, then how many points do I need? Do you remember you had X and Y and you want to plot a graph? So what did you do in your 10th uh, standard? You calculated X, you calculated Y. So you calculated this thing at zero and then you found out uh, the other thing and then you kept this thing zero and then you found out this thing and then you connected all those. Uh, parts. So that is uh, how you uh, draw the graph, right? Yes. So now let us find out uh, the V and I equation for this circuit. And then we can uh, find out uh, the VI graph for this. Uh, so let us find out what would be that. So we have we have uh, I that is equal to E by R plus R. And uh, this thing goes in over there. So this is I R plus I R. And then this is E. And uh, I already know 
right? I already know that this I R is V. So V is how much? That is uh, E minus I R. Right. Is it clear? Yes, sir. So what is uh, my known quantity? So known quantities are Known quantities are E and R. These are the known uh, quantities. And what are the variables? Variables are V and I. Right. So this equation is something like Y equal to some constant minus X and uh, some constant uh, V. Right. So this is some equation. Right? Yes. So to draw the graph, I will put uh, x equal to 0 and then find out y. And then I will put y equal to 0 and then I will find out x. So let's uh, do that. So we have we have uh, v equal to e minus uh, i r. We will put first uh, i equal to 0 for i equal to 0, this thing is 0, so v is how much? e. Right. And for uh, v equal to 0, what is i? Can you tell me? What is i for v equal to 0? Yes. What is what is i for v equal to zero? Put this thing in. Put v equal to zero. Find out i in this equation. What you are getting? Please tell me. Yes. What are you getting? Uh, I mean, what are you getting? Um, I. Yeah, I is how much? If you put V equal to 0. So you have V equal to I minus uh, E minus I R. I have uh, put this thing equal to 0. So E is I R. So I is E by R. This would be the point. Clear? Now, uh, what are these points? So I have uh, I and then V. I equal to zero. That is this uh, line. Comma E. So that is this point. Right. This point is zero comma E. Clear? And then uh, V is 0. So Y is 0, this line. And then I is E by R. So E by R. Comma 0. And then this is 0, comma E. So this is uh, V max, which is E. This is uh, I max, which is E by R. And if I connect these two points, I will get uh, the graph. So this is the VI graph of uh, this circuit, right? And the slope of this graph, slope of graph, this will give you the minus of resistance. So that is all about this simple circuit. Is it clear to you? Yes. Then please uh, note down this thing. So please note it down and then and then we we'll move. Please note it down.
Yeah, whenever you want me to scroll down, please take. If anybody have a uh, music, please do it. Okay, so. Yeah, so this is what is about uh, the simple set, right? So what you do is that uh, in a cell, you connect a resistance, so then you will have uh, these, uh, right? These terminal potential difference, and then this would be the behavior of uh, this, right? So now uh, let us find out that what happens when we combine all those uh, cells together. So the next topic is combination of cells. So again, we have two kinds of combination of cells, right? And uh, one is a series combination. Of uh, cells. And then the other one is parallel combination of cells. So what is a series combination of cells? So we have a cell, right? And uh, it will have a particular EMF, which is E1. It will have a particular internal resistance R. And then to the negative terminal of this EMF or this cell, we connect another uh, positive terminal of uh, the cell. And then again, so this will have uh, E2 EMF and R2 internal resistance. Again, we connect uh, to the negative terminal of this cell, a positive terminal of another cell, which has a different yield, E3. 
and it has also an internal resistance R. And then we connect all these uh, things with the external resistance with some another device, right? And that has uh, the resistance which is R. Yes, uh, did you say something? No, sir. So this is uh, the series combination, right? We are connecting alternatingly the cell. So this kind of combination is called series combination. And uh, if we write it uh, effectively, so this would be some effective uh, EMF and then effective resistance. So this would be the overall diagram of this circuit. So this would be E equivalent and this would be R uh, equivalent, smaller. And then this R. So what would be this equivalent, uh, E equivalent, right? We have to remember that in series combination, series combination, what remains the same? Current or voltage? What remains the same? Yes, in series combination, what remains the same? Current remains the same. Right, and then what is changes? So voltage uh, changes. Right, so if we use these uh, two things, then uh, the equivalent uh, EMF, this would be E1 plus uh, E2 plus uh, E2. Right, similarly, the R equivalent this would be R1 plus R2 plus R3. And if you look at this, uh, this final circuit, so from this circuit, again, we will calculate the current and that would be E equivalent divided by R plus R equivalent. So this would be the current in this circuit. So how much time did we have? So we have three minutes, please note this thing down. Right. Please note it down and then we'll stop here and in the next class we will uh, continue from it. Please note it down. Yeah, whenever you have uh, not it will still. Yeah. Okay, so we'll stop here and uh, see you tomorrow. And then, uh, oh, so now it's.